four more years. Barack Obama re-elected President of the United States. We have picked ourselves up. We have fought our way back. And we know in our hearts that for the United States of America, the best is yet to come. Sparking wild celebrations across America. We are an American family and we rise or fall together as one nation and as one people. As challenger Mitt Romney concedes defeat, the historic victory putting Obama back in the White House as America's 44th president. Live from Melbourne, this is 7 News with Peter Mitchell. Good evening. Barack Obama has won the race for the White House, telling Americans that although a hard road has been travelled in the past few years, brighter days lie ahead. Republican rival Mitt Romney conceded defeat late this afternoon, delivering Obama a second four-year term as US President. Mike Amor begins our coverage. Many expected a cliffhanger, but just after 11pm Eastern Time, the President was re-elected. Brian, there's no what-ifs anymore. That's done. CNN projects that Barack Obama will be re-elected President of the United States. Obama romping ahead of Romney, easily gaining the 270 electoral college votes needed to win. We have picked ourselves up. We have fought our way back. And we know in our hearts that for the United States of America, the best is yet to come. Obama trailed for much of the count, winning the liberal northeast states, Romney dominating the Midwest and South. But narrow wins in Ohio, Wisconsin, Iowa, Pennsylvania and New Hampshire put the president over the line, tweeting supporters four more years. It didn't stop Obama supporters from going wild, dancing in the streets. New York's Empire State Building turning blue in tribute. Party politics with the emphasis on party. And none more enthusiastic than those packing Obama's Chicago headquarters. Thank you for believing all the way. Voters expected him to deliver this time. Exit polls show what concerns them most. Unemployment, rising prices, taxes and housing. While not as dramatic, this was another historic win for Barack Obama. No president has remained in office with unemployment as high as 7.9%. Earlier, he was making promises, working the phones. Uh, my name was Barack Obama, you know the president of the United States. <laughs> but there doesn't seem to be any doubt Barack Obama will be the US president for a second term. At the Obama headquarters in Chicago, Mike Amor, 7 News. And Mike joins us now from Chicago. Mike, a big challenge lies ahead for the president. It is a big question facing Barack Obama as he enters his second term is will he be able to reunite this country after such a bitter campaign? So much anger on both sides of these, this election and the country split in two as we saw by the popular vote tonight. In fact, Barack Obama in danger of still losing the popular vote even though he has gone on to win the White House. He's going to have to learn to work with Republicans. That was one of the big knocks of, on him in his first term, that he was unable to get anything done, unable to work with the Republicans. It's going to be very interesting because right in the first few months of uh, his new term in office, he's going to face the fiscal cliff. And if he can't work with, with Republicans, this could drag this country back into recession and perhaps take the rest of the world with it. Will Barack Obama be able to deliver on that dream that he promised four years ago, Peter?